as my sweet old grandma used to say, she ain't dead, but as she used to say, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Epic Games, Fortnite, you stole my dance. You blatantly ripped off the dance I've been using at the end of my videos for the last two years. Look, I stroll into town with my YouTube videos. I do a video all about how Fortnite should be on the Switch. That's promotion for you guys. In fact, it probably even gave you the idea. Let's be real here for a second. That video has like 300,000 views or something like that. You probably saw that and you were like, you know what, Wood? You know what, Woodison? You're right. Our game should be on the Switch. Guys, let's start work on a port for the Switch. That's fine, I didn't need credit for that. I didn't want credit for that, that's absolutely fine. Then you go ahead and you drop it on the Switch during E3, and I make a video saying I was right, Fortnite's on the Switch, everyone band together, download it, support it. That video got a ton of views. And again, nothing from Epic Games. No thank you on Twitter, no thank you in my DMs, and that was fine as well. It's what I do here, it's my job, it's my profession to build up hype for games. Games. I don't require thank you. I don't require credit. But then you have the nerve, the balls, the gusto to come along and take my dance. The dance that I've been using at the end of each of my videos for the last two years. You guys think I'm joking? Take a look at this hard proof, this hard evidence of this copyright infringement. even replicate it for you. There, it's right there. It's my twist. It's my signature twist that you've gone and taken and you've used for your own selfish purposes without even crediting me. All right, fine. Probably wasn't taken from me. Although to be fair, someone at Epic Games probably saw one of my videos. You have to imagine, law of averages, that one of them saw my video. So maybe it was just like subliminal messages where they saw it in their brain and they didn't think about it. And then two weeks later they were at a meeting and someone said, hey, got any good dances? And Fred stood up and just kind of went, I've seen this somewhere, let's use this. So Fred, <laughs> I forgive you, it's fine. I don't need the credit. But everyone that plays Fortnite, if you wanna have my dance that I do at the end of the videos, it's in the game now. Probably just some generic twist, but it was caught to my attention on Twitter, and I thought it'd be a funny video title to lead into the fact that I am never streaming Fortnite again. And that's not because of the copyright infringement, and this actually isn't even a joke. I am never streaming Fortnite again. And why? Well, I'll tell you in 15 seconds. But why would? Why 15 seconds from now? Why not just tell us right now? Well, because the sponsor of this video, Swagbox, only wanted a 15 second spot. So let's go! <laughs> Swagbox is an awesome and easy way to earn extra cash or even gift cards for places like Amazon, Walmart, Target, PlayStation Network, Steam, and even GameStop. That's right, you can earn GameStop gift cards. That's actually pretty cool. All you have to do on the site is partake in surveys, watch videos, play games, or even shop online. And if you do all that through Swagbox, it earns you rewards. So if you want to check out Swagbox just like I, I have clicked that link in the top of my description box to start earning extra cash and gift cards. Stuff like that just makes me want to dance, makes me want to do the twist. Thank you Swagbucks for sponsoring this video and now let me tell you why I'm never streaming Fortnite again. Because the Fortnite community is horrible. You guys suck. Not all of you, I suppose, but my dear lord. I stream every single Monday, and you guys, my subscribers that watch this, you guys are always awesome. Nice people, probably because you're mostly adults, but you're all awesome in that comment section, just talking to me, asking me questions, being super supportive, just being, you know, nice. But then I went and streamed Fortnite, and holy moly, that was a whole different story. I'm never doing it again. God, the Fortnite community is the worst, dude. The people in the comment section are just the worst people. Like, I usually have such nice people in my chat. They're literally garbage people in there right now. You guys have five seconds to ready up and then you're out. Sitting there, like, dancing like a couple of freaking fools.
I only called you garbage if you're leaving garbage comments. Like if you're aiming to try and hurt my feelings by saying I'm bad at a video game, then you're a garbage person. Like it's not, I'm completely apolog unapologetic about that. I, I honestly can't remember the last time I jumped onto the internet, hit my keyboard with furious passion. You freaking suck at this game. You should go kill yourself. So good at this game. And it wasn't just mean comments. I don't know what it is about streaming Fortnite that brings out just the spam. I should have paid my mods for the effort they put into this stream. It was just bot after bot after bot they were having to delete. I'm not sure if there's like this weird bot system on YouTube that searches Fortnite videos and just absolutely spams it, but it was insane. On top of that, there was just so much hate and crap talk and just words that I don't like having on my channel because I was wasn't playing like the freaking pro Fortnite players. Yes, if you watch pros play Fortnite all the freaking time and then watch some average Joe like myself, it's not gonna be as good, but that's okay. I don't understand coming into my stream and telling me I suck because I'm not like Ninja, which is literally comments that I was receiving word for word. Everyone needs to stop comparing everyone else to Ninja. It's, it's honestly, it's crazy to me because it's like if I played like Mario 64 right now, and everyone started like throwing around speedrunner names and they're all like, you suck compared to this speedrunner that finished the game in an hour. Like they watch Ninja play and they're like, you're supposed to do this. This is what Ninja would do. Like I'm having fun. I don't care if I'm not a pro friggin builder or I don't pick the right items every time. I'm not trying to friggin hit number one every time. Why are you, out why are you out there? Answer me that question. <laughs> why are you all the way over there? Put a hot dog on the grill. Okay, bye. It's such a weird culture, and that's what leads to the hate for Fortnite. Like, it's a great game, it's actually fun, and it's enjoyable. But that community, and if you're in that community, if you're one of those people, or you are one of those people that trash other players online, that, can, that is what gives this community a bad name, and it's why so many people hate Fortnite. Fortnite has become the new Xbox Live from about 10 years ago, full of 13-year-olds telling me what they want to do with my mother. It's probably because a lot of kids play the game, but it's a community that I want nothing to do with anymore. I've been really in support of this game. I still think it's great that it's on the Switch and it's going to boost a lot of sales. I've made a few videos about it now, and I've been streaming it lately, but I want you guys to know that... I'm done. I'm done with the game. I don't want to talk about it on my channel. I don't want to be involved with the game on my channel. I just, I'm done, especially after they stole my dance. <laughs> you are legit my favorite. You guys are being so nice to me right now. Can I just say that I, I'm working on a video right now about Fortnite. <laughs> I know, but and how I'm never going to live stream Fortnite again. And this is why I'm never streaming it again, because right here I'm sat playing Octopath with you amazing people. And I'm having people saying things like, I'm a huge fan, I'd love to see you keep growing, you're an inspiration. The very next comments from Mimic saying, you're legit my favorite YouTuber, your content made me happier in a time when I was pretty unhappy. There's people in the comments being nice, like too many that I can't even read. And then you compare that to the Fortnite stream, which was literally a bunch of kids telling me that they wanted to sleep with my mother. And and that I should st I should delete my channel and Ninja is better than me. It's it's such a huge contrast. But I I just want to thank you guys for um for being so awesome. I'm just gonna shut up. You guys know what I'm trying to say. I love you guys and um I don't know where I would be without any of you. But before I wrap up Fortnite in a neat little bow on my channel, there's something I want to say. Something I really respect about Epic Games, and that's the support they are giving their Switch port. There are a lot of developers coming along, throwing their game on the Switch, and then walking away, even leaving a lot of broken messes on the Switch. Games like WWE, which we'll... Yeah, yeah, no one wanted to touch that, I get it. But even games like Payday 2, which still hasn't really received any major updates, and it just is what it is. I mean, it's not super necessary, at least the games on the Switch, you don't have to keep updating and adding new things to it. But Epic Games is doing that with Fortnite. They recently worked on and added gyro controls, and they work really well. You can turn them on or off, or you can adjust how much sensitivity you have and honestly it's pretty awesome i messed around with having them on high having them on medium but i've settled on just really really low so when i'm playing handheld and i'm in a gunfight it really helps to be able to just move the switch a little bit and improve my accuracy my kills in general are higher per match now and i feel like i have more control
control. And I wish more games worked on gyro for the system, especially because a lot of people do play it in handheld mode and those toggles on the Joy-Cons aren't that great. And Season 5 did just launch across all platforms and if you don't know, they introduced a golf cart buggy and that's just about the most fun you can have in the game. RGT85 and I were riding around in one with a rocket launcher on the back, even going to the new area and there's a race track and you can drift in the golf carts and it actually builds up a boost and then once you let go, you blast off just like in Mario Kart and it's actually stupid fun. So if you haven't played the game on Switch yet, now's your chance and you can play as me, essentially, with a little dancey dance. In fact, Epic Games, you could add me as a character. I wouldn't totally, I mean, just on the Switch version, I think that would, can we be serious for a second? Because I'm just coming up with this right now. What would it take to add me as a playable character in the Nintendo Switch version? Because I would pay good money for that. And I, I would make another Fortnite video talking just about that. That would be awesome. And you know, it would make up for the fact that you did steal my dance. And now I'm actually going to say you did just because it gives me leverage. So yeah, you did. <laughs> Put me in the game. It was quite stupid compared to my regular content, but I had fun making it, so I hope you had fun watching it. Hit subscribe if you did have fun here today. Click this video right here because just why not? I don't need a reason. You don't need a reason. We don't need a reason. We just need a dance. There he is. See? That's what I'm talking about right there. Two years. Two years he's been there.